Yeah, Pari, people living on Phillip Avenue still can't get over that retired Norfolk Police Sergeant Bill Moore was killed last night. And there are lots of questions as to what led up to the double shooting. But what is certain is how admired he was and still is. Getting a little choked up about it. Here on Norfolk's Phillip Avenue. Bill, you will be missed greatly by your friends and neighbors. Richard Seeloff's 11 words. Melanie Richard and Michelle and Andy. Sit in 83-year-old Bill Moore's front yard. A lot of people put memorials out there, maybe flowers and all that kind of stuff. And so I thought, well, you know what? I'm just going to make a sign up. This. We will greatly miss him. After trying to find words. Totally confused. Seeing this in their neighborhood Monday night. All the police cars were in here and some down in here. So this area, and it was a yellow caution tape pretty much from that pole to that fence over there. Moore and a woman found shot. What's going on? Why, why would someone do this to Bill? The retired Norfolk police sergeant serving 32 years with the department pronounced dead at the scene. For somebody being in a police department that long and uh, it's kind of tragic that how he ended up dying. Seeloff remembers more as a great neighbor and friend of more than 30 years. I had a garden and it's summertime. That's why he's always, hey, Richard, can you bring me some tomatoes over? So we do. I do that. And sometimes I come over to sit down and talk to him. If I need advice on working on a car, he, you'll see his garage over here. He, he loved to work on cars. That was his hobby. He's a great guy. I got nothing negative ever to say about him. Questions still remain as to why this happened to Moore. Meanwhile, Seeloff says this sign is a sign of support for Moore's family. It's mainly to let the family know that this neighborhood cares about him and cares about them and our prayers are with them. And two 19 year olds, both of Norfolk, Andrew Brown and Xavier Hudspeth are being held in the Norfolk City Jail without bond. They face multiple charges, including second degree murder. As for Seeloff, he hopes others neighbors will leave a message on the sign in Moore's yard, as well as leave flowers for Moore's family. Zach Dahlheimer, News 3.